Hey guys, I want to show you how to unlock the most challenging character yet. Now this is the Mountain Man and you get this by doing some really difficult challenges in the prologue house and also this spawn right here. This character looks really cool. He's wearing a bearskin like hoodie. He's got a big backpack on his back with snowshoes, a banjo. He's got a knife on his leg, but yeah, definitely a really awesome looking character. And again, I believe this is the first time we are seeing this character unlocked because out of all of the challenges, this one is the most difficult. So huge shout out to It's Invalid for completing this. He was like the first person to complete the Mephistopheles boss fight solo with no downs. So I knew he would be up for this challenge. There are apparently five challenges that you have to do to unlock this. And I'll show you guys those challenges. But here is what the menu looks like here. If you open up your characters and you are able to complete these challenges, you'll see this option here for the Mountaineer. And this is definitely one of the cooler looking characters, especially with like the banjo and the snowshoes and that big backpack. I really Really like the way this one looks. So there are three objectives on the final Reich map that you have to do as part of this and it's go to wave 20 in the spawn, you can't open the doors, and you can't take any downs. At first this sounds really challenging but when you have the right loadout and you're leveled up enough this is really easy and it is so much fun. But yeah you can see right here if you survive 20 waves without opening doors and without going down in this area right here then you will get this secret hidden challenge to pop up. Once you level up enough to unlock some of these extra mods. These are the ones that worked really well for us. Like that first one on the bottom, you can see a grenade and a times two. Grenades are huge here. They're really powerful and they will save you. And that mod right there will double the amount of grenades that you can hold, which will be eight, will be maxed out. And I would recommend the sticky grenades. Those are awesome. They're so, so strong. The next one over shows like a little gun with two bullets above it. What that does is when you're in a free fire mode, which is unlimited ammo, you can see the yellow ring on the right. When that's activated, that will pack a punch the gun that's in your hand. It only pack a punches it during that unlimited free fire ammo time. So if you're holding out your pistol, it's going to turn it into the dual wield pistols, the bacon and eggs and you can just absolutely destroy. Now you do have to have a full meter to use them and to use them frequently, we brought in these hearts that you get. They're the consumables. You can see if you hit up on the D-pad, you would get a heart that will refill everybody's meter. And if you have multiple people in the game, everybody can take turns like using their pistols and it will last a pretty long time. I also brought in a bazooka, which is down on the D-pad. Again, another consumable, but I didn't need to use it because we got plenty of hearts that dropped and I had lots of grenades grenades and so with the grenades you do want to make sure that you have a flak jacket that's another mod that you can bring in and you can see that there on the bottom it's got the little green looking you know vest that's going to help to protect you from all the grenades you're going to be spamming but you don't need protection from the bacon and egg like dual wield pistols you don't take any damage from those next thing you want to do is coordinate your full meter and have it ready for those certain rounds whenever you're going to get like those special boss zombies so about round 11 you're going to start getting the whistling zombies every round on round 14 you're going to get one of these firemen zombies and with the dual wield pistols you can wreck him within about three seconds you do get the bomber zombies but you know they're really easy to kill now you will get on round 10 15 and 20 the pests so those rounds go very quickly you can just spam grenades and just run really fast so those are practically like three free rounds. And you can see right here, I'm using the dual wield pistols on the firemen and it drops them pretty quickly. Again, I got the dual wield by activating the free fire and that packed the pistols. And then, you know, I could just shoot unlimited for a little bit. So yes, this challenge here, definitely doable with the right loadout, a good team and strategy. You know, it's not easy, but there is a strategy that can get you through it and make it easier. So the next challenge is to survive 25 ways in the prologue house with no mystery box weapons and taking no downs. And yes, this is as difficult as it sounds. This one's gonna be the hardest challenge out of all of them. And I'm talking about all challenges from all of the unlockable characters. And this is not the Groston house where you can bring consumables in. This is the prologue house. You have no consumables, no grenades. You have one gun on the wall, which is the MP40, and that's it. There is armor, which is really useful, but the quick revive may not be necessary. We were under the understanding that you had to do this without taking it down so that's what he did and he was able to unlock the character but when he got to wave 25 without taking it down all it said was that he didn't use the mystery box and survive 25 waves 
So it may be okay to take it down, but we just wanted to ensure that, you know, he would get it unlocked. But yeah, right there you can see it says survive 25 ways without unlocking the secret room, which is the mystery box. Now he did accidentally open the front door and that can happen when you go to buy ammo from that MP40 wall buy. But as long as you don't walk out those doors, you can continue this challenge, but it does create another zombie spawn for you. So just be aware of that. The only thing that can really save you here is leveling up that MP40. So you want to get like extended mags, rapid fire, there's an FMJ that really helps. So doing that can help you get past this because the MP40 loses power in the teens and you need that leveling up to keep it powerful and get you to the 25. One of the biggest challenges in this house is that on round 20 to 25, you get a whistling every round. This guy has an incredible wingspan and reach to take two hits away from you. And if you get touched by another zombie, you're gonna start losing your shields and getting red screened very quickly. But Invalid is gonna have a video on his channel to show you guys the strategy and how he got past the whistling and how how he, you know, ran a train in that whole house and his strategy. So it can definitely help you guys get past this. I'll have a link to his YouTube channel down in the description, but I hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you next video.